Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to get rid of those dark circles under your eyes. Now you've been staying up late looking at these Photoshop tutorials trying to figure them out and it's taken its toll and now you have some dark circles under your eyes. And what we're going to do in this episode is get rid of those dark circles using Photoshop elements. Let's go ahead and take a look at the photo I have here. I want to thank Jocelyn or I should say Dot Jocelyn over at the Creative Commons Flickr for using this uh, really great photo of this uh, kind of blondish red hair girl right here and I have taken the dark circles that she had under her eyes. She was up late doing these Photoshop tutorials but let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna hold the option key and I'm gonna click on the visibility layer and as you can see there are some nasty dark circles under those eyes. Let me go ahead and hit command plus and we can kinda of zoom in there and see how bad these dark circles are right there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to get rid of them. Let me go ahead and put all these back right here by holding the option key and look at that we just deleted all these dark circles with some nice layering effects there now I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna revert my image back to the original image that we have here the next thing I'm going to do since we're only concentrating on under the eyes right there is I'm gonna do the famous command J the only thing I is I'm gonna do this three times because we need to have three layers above that to do this technique so what you're gonna have is your background layer layer one layer one copy and layer one copy two if you did all three command J's or control J's the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna turn the visibility layers of the top two off because we're going to work on layer one so let's go ahead and click on layer one now the very first thing of course that we're going to do is go over into our toolbox and we are going to pick the spot healing brush we're going to bring over the brush onto the where the area of the dark circles are and then we're going to start to paint those away now you got to be careful with this spot healing brush because it samples from the area right around where you're doing it so you want to have the smallest brush possible that you can use and still be able to paint some of these away the next thing we want to do is we want to just kind of hold and do some nice lines there and then what it's going to do is it's going to do some sampling and then it's going to get rid of those so some nice lines right there nice smooth lines and we want to get rid of all these dark circles under there and what it's going to do is it's going to sample all those colors and you might want to do it a few times now don't worry that it's getting too soft because we're going to correct that and just keep going over it the reason why I go over it numerous times because it keeps sampling and it keeps getting closer and closer to the original color of the skin so there we have it and it's looking pretty fake but I want to go ahead and get rid of the ones on this side so we're going to do the same thing and we might have to do it a few times because the circles are dark so we want to sample those and we kind of want to blend those in by just going over multiple times until they've gotten rid of any kind of blemishes under the eye now of course if you're getting too much you might want to take down the size of the brush just a little bit now I've got some of the eyelash in there so I'm just gonna keep going and try to keep tapping that until it goes away and as you can see it keeps sampling it and it tries to get rid of some of that so there we have it you can do a much better job now I'm gonna go over here at the top and I'm gonna try and get rid of some of the uh, darkness here at the top of the eye and there we have it now of course like I said it's smooth and it's not looking very good now the next thing we need to do is click on layer one copy and then we need to turn the visibility layer back on for that and then we're going to go up to our filter menu and we are going to choose blur and we're going to choose surface blur and what that's going to do is it's going to blur the actual surface of the skin now I'm using about radius of 3 and the threshold of 23 and I'm gonna select OK now I know it's blurry but what we're gonna do is we're going to add a layer mask to that now hold down your alt or option key and go down in your layer palette and pick this little icon right there which says add layer mask and what that's gonna do is it's gonna add a black layer mask to that 
Okay, the first thing is, is if you don't already have white here, click D on your keyboard and that will put the default foreground and background colors there and it'll make it white. The next thing we need to do is we need to select our brush right there. We're going to pick a nice soft brush from the drop down box right there. Pick a nice soft one and then put the brush onto the screen and find a nice size. You can use the bracket keys or you can slide this slider right there back and forth until you find a nice size. And then I'm going to use about a 9-10% opacity there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with white right in here and I want to smooth the edges of where I made a little bit of some mistakes right there. We're going to smooth that area out. Now of course we're losing detail right there but that's okay. We're going to smooth that whole area out. We're going to smooth the area out up here. It's almost like smudging, but it's not because it's using a surface blur from the other area that we're doing. So just keep going until it's nice and blended in right there. We want to blend this in really nice. Once again, don't worry about the fact that it's not looking real because of the softness because we are going to put some texture back into this and that's what the next layer is for. So just keep smoothing away, smoothing away, smoothing away until you're pretty happy. Now of course I'm not doing a great job. I have gotten rid of some of that and I've done some pretty good blending there but now what we need to do is we need to put some texture back in there so it's beginning to look real again. So now what I want you to do is go into your layers palette, click on the very top layer, make it visible with the visibility icon. Now of course the dark circles are back but what we're going to do is we're going to go under enhance and then we're going to go to Unsharp Mask, and we're going to crank this baby up pretty high. Uh, I've got mine at 103% and the radius of 1.3. It's a little bit super exaggerated, but I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to go to the very top, and I'm going to change the mode to a screen mode. And what that's going to do is that's going to brighten that up quite a bit. And then, holding the Alt or Option key down, I'm going to go over and click the layer mask one more time. It's going to put that black layer mask right on top there. Hopefully you still have white selected right there. You have the size of your brush and then you have the opacity still at about 10%. Now what we want to do is we kind of want to paint wherever there was a soft looking texture there. We want to paint some of that back in because we want to make it look like her face has some texture to the skin. We don't want it to where she's looking plasticky. And as you can tell right there, I'm putting some of the texture back on the skin right there. Now it might be a little bit too light and we can fix that, but what I'm mainly worried about right now is the texture. I want to put the texture back onto the eye so that she has some nice texture on her skin and she's not looking so fake right there. Now once again it's a little bit on the light side but don't worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. Now once you have that uh, texture kind of painted back, you can see I painted a lot of that texture back in, go ahead and do a quick hit over the eye right there. What we want to do is we want to bring out the eye just a little bit so it also takes away from some of that darkness that she has under the eye. Now over here, it's a little bit too light. We have this, it's a little bit too light over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to dial the opacity down just a little bit so that it starts becoming a little more natural looking right there. Let's go ahead and zoom out. I'm going to hit the command zero. And what that should do is that should send it back to the original size of my photo. Now it's still a little bit light there. I do have to work on that just a tiny bit. But what I want you to do is I want to show you the original picture holding down the Alt or Option key and hitting the visibility layer. You can see that there is the original photo right there. And then if I hit it again, there is the fixed picture. And of course, her eyes look much better now. Once again, you could do a lot better job right than I did right in here by not making it quite as white. But what we did first was we went in there and we blended it with the spot healing brush. The next one that we did was we did a surface blur right there and we added a little layer mask just kind of blending all that stuff into our eyes. And then last but not least, we put a layer copy up there. We put the 
uh, sharpening way up the unsharp mass there to 103 and 1 1.3 and then we went ahead and used another layer mask and kind of painted it in there to put the texture back in our eyes and like I said once again I took a little bit too much on this one don't really uh, fault me for this one I'll try to do a little better job and post this on the Facebook community page when I've got this fixed up well if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos give me a like give me a thumbs up and pass the link on to your friends cheers